Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Azure Solution Architect interview preparation with an effective CV. So let's get into the video. All right guys, coming back to the CV part, right? So that is your professional statement. That is our, your personal profile that your work experience that you will going to pick and professional certificates. Definitely guys, you can show them all that and the skills that you have acquired. So your Azure jobs and the interview preparation over here. So this is how the CV looks like, right? That, you know, in the left side, there is a picture, there is a phone number and the information mentioned associated with that. On the right side, even if you're not putting the picture, but if you put your certification, definitely the right one looks more impressive, right? Because over here, you know, you can put the picture as well. There is no harm over there. But the thing is over here, I mean, that directly catches the eye. Okay, these are the area of the expertise the person is already holding over here. So they may not look into the multiple things what you have covered, right? Because the certification speaks for you, right? It's eye catching in the resume itself. Okay, these are four certification. Let's pick this resume straight away over here because the first thing is getting qualified for the interview. There are many resumes which are not getting even the chance for the interview as well. There are many, there are plenty of them because in a, a single job profile, if you see, you know, the amount of the money the companies are offering for the cloud business nowadays, right? It's really difficult, you know, in one particular job, there are thousands of the resume available. So, you know, first thing is first entry point, get your resume shortlisted and how it will be getting shortlisted on the basis of the certification. Now that is one, once it will be shortlisted, you have to justify that particular portion, but you have reached to the interview. So the first thing is reaching to the interview will be on the basic of your effective resume. Do mention on the certifications on the top over here. Do mention your experience and what are the things and the training that you have conducted, uh, you know, attended or whether you have part or what kind of the KT session has happened and on what sort of the skills that you have, right? Because looking into the paragraph and what sort of the experience that you have and then understanding whether the person is appropriate for my requirement or not. If I know, okay, these are the requirement will be covered in this certification. Okay, let's pick this resume right away. So that is one thing. Another thing job description over here. So roles and responsibility 10 plus years of the experience of the extensive cloud demonstrate deep dive engineering over here for the past IAS and the past stacks over here mention all these kind of the job experience in your de uh, description point wise do not write big paragraphs. Nobody is interested because guys your your HRs anybody who will be taking the interview. They also have the time crunch. Bigger the resume, more time they have to invest. So everybody may not have that much of the time to go through. If it will be pointers, because even if you are taking the interview, let's assume you are taking the interview and somebody is bringing the resume, people are more interested what you can do on the basis of the requirement they are offering. Historically, what you have achieved, good for you. That good to have. But it's something what they are looking for their business requirement. If you keep the pointer, it will help them to catch those requirement easily. So the questions can be asked on the basis of your pointers. So when you keep the things which are falling under your category, basically you are itself driving the interview. That whenever you end any particular answer, the next question you can see it coming from which particular topic it is coming over here. So pick it from that particular requirement over here. So let's say if you have mentioned pass IS, okay. So if somebody has worked, they will directly catch. Okay, let's ask the question from somewhere from the platform as a service resources. Let's talk about the networking or somebody is good at the Terraform. Let's talk about Terraform then because you are giving them a single liner over here. Nobody is reading the paragraph. You can directly catch it from here. All right. Now over here, there is a second description that you have mentioned work for the opportunity area over here. This is the job description too. And actually over here, you have also mentioned the intent and what years of the experience and the notice period and everything put those kind of the things as well, right? Which your organization will be more interested. Somebody is looking for hiring you will be more interested on these particular sections as well. So you will be looking into that and you will be proceeding further going ahead like your uh, it is a work from home and office opportunity or the product based company limited to the 35x and the notification this kind of the job description that you can look into and over here the things are available right so over here in the job description right go through the jd match your skill set and apply accordingly i don't want you to get disheartened on the rejection because maybe you don't have the skill and you are continuously applying over there getting confused between solution architect cloud architect and platform architect enterprise architect application architect all says architect but the responsibilities are different 
if somebody is in the enterprise architect they are looking into more over to the licensing business with the saas based solution right that job is not for us right somebody is looking for the platform architect right they are looking for the multiple platform different kind of the technologies that you can bring probably if you have the knowledge of that you can bring for that you have to look for the cloud architect and the azure architect where the resume speaks more about something in the jd section okay because i have seen people getting disheartened that okay that role was there for the architect i have applied that was an application architect it requires some development experience do we have that if that is not available don't go for it so over here like you know some organization also look for the development experience because in their organization they have a need of a developer as well right but the developer is not for the longer period of the time let's say somewhere let's say portion of development not very big development but they do want you know people to have the understanding on the c sharp language java and if you have not worked it is simple as that guys be honest to the jd because even if you have somehow cracked the examination or let's say the you know at the end of the day you have to be available in that particular environment they might be expecting it so just check the simple is that if the 70 to 80% requirement is matching what you already learned go for it if it is not matching and it is going 30 40 if you just want to apply and just to test yourself go for it otherwise there is no point until it is not matching more than 60 to 70% because there is a amount of learning curve that one can have right once you get a job you can make it from 70 to 100 but reaching from 30 to 20% to the 100 will be a big task i'm not saying that you cannot do that the thing is that when you are working it's more over the implementation after that 10 to 12 hours or let's say 8 to 10 hours of the regress work on daily basis you might not have a bandwidth of that much of the learning that you will have right So guys this was our expert and if you want to dive deeper then we have something really special for you we have our free class on how to prepare for azure cloud jobs and certification under this free class you'll be learning about why you should learn azure cloud azure cloud certification roadmap for cloud engineers and architects and a lot many questions that you might be wondering about All you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash az three zero five zero two. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now. Schedule an event date according to your availability. Add your full name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Add this link to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.